Good afternoon and a happy Femboy Fridays, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> How is the week gone for everybody? How's everybody doing? Welcome, 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 welcome on in and welcome by. <laughs> yep, Mike's working today. I'm not muted. I'm not muted. At least I don't think I am. If I am, feel free to let me know. I've got my eyes on the mic today and it looks like it's working. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. What's happening in chat real quickly? <laughs> Thank you for the sound redeem earlier, by the way, Octo. I heard the little ghosty ghosty and was just like, wait a second. Why am I getting a sound redeem when I'm not even live? Just is like, oh, that's right. People can activate them during the transition screens. That always catches me off guard, but it's always cool. Also, welcome on in Freaky Chen. How are you doing today? Happy Fridays. Happy Fridays. Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. <laughs> I completely forgot about that until earlier. <clears throat> also, Octostar, congratulations on redeeming the first today. You are the first redeemer, and the rights of being first for the first redeem are yours. First and only today. Congratulations on that once again, and thank you for using the redeems. <laughs> aye, 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 they go by so fast. I, I, I rarely even have a chance to get the first and other stream, so it always impresses me just how quickly people get to that button. It's fun. <laughs> Welcome in, Nikki. Welcome back, Fonti. Hello, hello, each and every one of you. If I missed your name, feel free to speak up. Or if you're out, if you're out there for a lurk, enjoy the lurk and enjoy the stream. Enjoy me in the background and the noises in your ear, you know? I'm a fox on the mic. I gotta please somebody. <laughs> you're doing all right. You finished the drawing earlier, so you're just chilling now? Ah! Did you finish the one that you were said you were going to combine the two with? Short hair, tummy, and something like that? <laughs> Whatever it may be, congratulations on fin finishing a drawing. That can be a lot of work sometimes. It can take a lot of stamina or a mental hurdle. But it's always fun to see art. It's always fun to see new, cute, and blessed things. At least in my opinion. Like, I swear. <laughs> ah, back when I used to try to be an artist, it was... Oh, it was very much a mental uphill struggle. So I have high respect for all my artists. <laughs> oh, sweet! You did today's prompt? Nice! That'll be later? Gotcha! Right, you said that one would be for the future. But yeah, I'll take a look at that one. Send that one to me if you get a chance. I'd love to see. <clears throat> ah, gotta clear my throat. I talk so much that my mouth gets dry almost like immediately. But that's just what it is. That's just what it is, guys. Also, it is October. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I don't know if we'll do any like sort of pink thing on the stream. But uh, I tend to use pink in my backgrounds as it is. So we can say we're technically taking part in that. Honestly, I forgot that that was even going on. I went to the pharmacy today and when I got my pills, I got a thin pink bottle with a pink lid. And I'm just like, um, what do they mean by this? And then I was sitting in um, the truck that I'm borrowing from my parents just to get, you know, here and there. And I was just like, mm, is it Breast Awareness Month? Is it Breast Cancer Awareness Month? And sure enough, it was. Sure enough, it was. But yeah, it's honestly a cute little pill bottle. I might just keep it on the side just, just to put some other pills into or just see, save it as a souvenir. I've never seen one this small, this thin, and this pink. But it's it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> pill bottle, cute, weird. But yeah, ah, so what other announcements do we have going on? Today might get kind of busy, but before I get into what's going on today, and before we get into the spins and the video game, which might I say, I have been desperately awaiting coming back to playing this game. I know it's super simple, lighthearted, and just overly cutesy, but oh man, it was happy to play. I was so happy to play it the first day. It's going to be a true relaxing game just for simple cutes and, you know, of course, I like pear Pie by eh. That name. I like Pieberry. You know, Dark Lolly Witch Girl. So, <laughs> I've been excited to get back to this game. But of course, I had to wait a little while. I'm not completely recovered yet, but I think I'm mostly recovered at this point. I think my throat can forgive me for like maybe a three hour ish playthrough with a little bit of voice line, voice acting, stuff like that. You know the drill. Thank you for the head pats, Will. Welcome in and happy Fridays to you. How are you doing? How have you been? Also, let me go and check my redeems before you do anything. Because I'm pretty sure I always forget at least one thing. I always forget at least one thing every single stream. And I do believe that I forgot to change my channel points over. 
I don't know if Radius will show up today, but I brought out the this model and this outfit just for them. Because <laughs> they they were asking about the hat and whatnot the last time, so I was just like, next stream, next stream, I will bring it out. <laughs> if they miss it, they miss it, but I did say I would do that for that. You know, I would do that for them. Okay, the redeems have been properly swapped over, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so, before we start talking about tonight, um, the game, the wheel spins, and everything else, let's talk about the sponsorship that is currently going on. Also, welcome NIs, how are you doing? How have you been? What have you been up to lately? More video games, more 3D model stuff, what's happening? Any plans for the weekend? Any plans for the week? How have you been doing? But yeah, right real quickly. Um, the Marvel, for those that are willing to help us out with that, that want to play alongside us, or just play a little bit to give us credit, we are so close to the third tier on our first two milestones. Getting, you know, somebody new to start playing and get to level 5, and then get to level 10. We are so close to that third level milestone, and it is a really big milestone. But I don't want to force anybody, and I'm not going to blame anybody if we don't get there. But, if you guys have just a couple of minutes to spare, and you don't mind to scan that QR code or download the game link from that link and play for just a little while, I'd greatly appreciate it. It will help the channel out immensely. Like, uh -huh. You don't know how happy I've been over the past couple of days. People are talking about the game with us. And I unironically, like, I'll, I'll be honest, back when I played Raid Shadow Legends, I dropped it immediately after I was done hitting the level requirement. I am still playing this game on the side <laughs> in blue stacks. It reminds me of those games like Princess Connect and Blue Archive. The level up system, the gear system, the ranking system, all of that. Eh... I guess I've just played too many gacha games in the past that I now have a sense of nostalgia for seeing it. And I like that gameplay loop. So I've been playing it off on the side just a little bit. The Auto Maker Redeem Present feature for streamers. <clears throat> Redeem Present? Oh, a preset. I mean, they could probably do presets, but it, you know... They at least give us the ability to toggle them on or off. Which, for the first year of me streaming on Twitch, I didn't know was actually a thing. I was deleting and adding them back manually for each stream that I needed to change them. Thank God I found it out a year later. <clears throat> Man, imagine trying to do all the redeems that I have these days manually taking them in and taking them out and stuff like that <clears throat> would be crazy you know okay so no more shilling for right now for that one thing we can talk about it later let's talk about today let's talk about tonight like i said we're gonna get back to which spring are and it might end up being a bit of a longer game but i i feel like it's gonna be worthwhile the story is so cute the main character is so cute the art's cute the gameplay is cute <laughs> And it's not overly difficult, overly hard, or anything like that. And of course, the Atelier game, I do play those on the harder difficulty. This game, you know, I'm not looking for that level of challenge. I'm looking just to sit back, laugh, and look at cute little lolly do, you know, pie things or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, tonight, I do not know how long we're going to stream, but I'm probably going to have to cut off around three hours. So not too long of a stream tonight because I am going to be joining Taiga and a couple of other small, uh, small alive members and friends and whatnot in the group for some, you guessed it, Friday the 13th, the video game. Yes. So Friday the 13th today and, you know, because of the coincidence and it being October, this is like, you know, the perfect, the perfect moment. To play Friday the 13th one more time before it closes sometime this year. Probably by the end of the year. So I think he said he's going to start his stream around 6. The gameplay, we would all join by 8. So I need to be done by about 7, which would be like 6 my time. Mm, 
We'll be close enough to three hours anyways. We'll be close enough to three hours anyways. And that'll give me time to get a snack and get ready to join them. But, uh, yeah. So there's that. But I think that's all the announcements so far. I think that's all the announcements so far. So, guys, welcome in for yet another Femboy Fridays. What are your plans for this weekend? How are you doing? What's happening on your Friday nights? Are you looking forward to seeing the gameplay again? Like, I'll be honest, I had a lot of fun playing it. I can't wait to get back to it. <laughs> but before that, before that, we got to spin the wheel. We got to spin the wheel of faith. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like we're going to get something spicy today. I don't know if it's going to be spicy noodles or a pina colada, but I feel like we're about to get a rare redeem. I think we're going to get a super fun redeem today before we start things off. So first things first, let me bring up the wheel. Let me enable the browser source. And let's get ready to spin that dial. Hello, Yocho! Welcome in! How are you and Sherry doing? <laughs> How have you been? How goes the week? And are you ready for a weekend? Have you got a fun weekend lined up? Have you got any plans? What's going on? <clears throat> All right. Let us spin. And have a cup of tea. <clears throat> oh! Boba? Boba? Okay. Yeah, I say limit two because we've only got two of them left. So I was thinking it was going to be like a pina colada or a spicy noodles, but it turns out that we're going to need to make a bit of a boba drink before we get started today. So that might take just a couple of minutes to get ready, but I can do it probably kind of quickly. I won't be in VR, so it won't be too intrusive. So this would be the perfect time to... Before we get ready to take the next break, I need to check the ad manager. I'm going to tell it to do a really long session of ads for like three minutes because that'll delay the next ad break by like two hours. <laughs> so while I'm making boba, I might as well take advantage of that. You're going to read the whole weekend. So I'd say pretty fine. That sounds fun. Have you got a good book? Is it work? What's the plans with that one? What are you reading? What are you reading if you're going to be reading the entire weekend? I, let me go and do one more spin and let me update the number real quickly. And then I will not make the boba right away. I need to take a look at my stream manager to see when, when I can actually enable that ad so I can go take a break. It's called Pale Lights. What kind of book or story is that about? Short story, fiction, sci-fi, dystopian? Tell us about it, tell us about it. <clears throat> so I think it's good to go. So... The next ad break is coming up in about 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what I need to do anyways. It's a really good story. It's a really good story. Is it heartfelt fantasy, love, mystery, anything like that? <laughs> squats? All right, let's do some squats. Right real quickly. First things first, let me see if I can keep my headset on since it's just squats. If not, I'll need to take the headset off and I'll let you know just in case anybody wants to do one of those uh, sound redeems. I don't want people to miss the opportunity for me to hear it. So, <laughs> think it's a fantasy? Thank you for the head, Pat's Fonty. Fantasy's okay, yeah? High fantasy, low fantasy. What I love about the author is that how he creates a whole universe within its own story. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. If it's just a good book, good writing, but um, the highlight being like good world building, that'd be a favorite of mine. I love like cohesive stories, proper character development, world building, stuff like that. That's the stuff that really makes me dig inside of a good book. Okay, let's count these off one by one, baby. One. Two, <laughs> doing squats on a femboy Friday. How fitting, am I right? <laughs> Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a funny story to tell in just a little bit before we make the boba. That way I don't have to do like an ad right away. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Never skip leg day, guys. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. There's our fifteen squatters for you guys. Where's my chair? Chair, come back. I need a comfy chair for my ass. Although my tail does make quite the cushion, I don't sit on it 24-7. <laughs> you know? You don't want your tail to go to sleep. It's just like your leg falling asleep. Oh, fun times, fun times, fun times, am I right? I So, the story. Before we switch to the game and go make the boba, let's talk about a funny story. Because some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know if it's TMI or if it's actually a good funny story. So, you guys know I started HRT all about two and a half months ago. So, of course, there are changes to come much later into the future. Some come sooner, some come later. <laughs> of course, the mental changes always come first. And that's kind of been a bit of a help and stuff like that. But uh, one of the changes, I was like, eh, I don't really care for much. Or if it happens, I don't mind if it happens later. Um, of course. <laughs> I happen to be getting one certain area to develop a little quicker than the rest. So, this, after I got out of the shower, just like, okay. Um, bra. And it's like, I need a shirt that hides it completely. And I went through like three shirts and I'm just like, I can still see the outlines of it. <laughs> so I was like, let me put two shirts on. And then I could see the, the shirt that I put on under the top shirt. And I said, I can see both shirts. And I'm just like, just grab a coat. Just grab a fucking coat. <laughs> so I went outside and it's hot as hell in a winter jacket. I bet my dad was like looking really weirdly at me. And I don't know if the people in the pharmacy looked kind of weirdly at me. But I'm just like, you know, I don't care if people see so much is I don't want them to see it yet. It's too early. It's too early because nothing else is caught up just yet. It'd be really weird just to have the bra outline poking through the shirts before anything else catches up with me. But I will say this, I will say this. Um, very thick tank tops are nice when you just don't want to wear a bra. But I'm doing that as well just because I don't I don't want people to, you know, see the outlines just yet. Now, <laughs> even funnier, I will say this, I will say this. The trade-off is um, they tend to hurt just a little bit when you don't actually have any support. <laughs> and I go up down the stairs a lot <laughs> during the course of the day. So, you know, I find the situation absolutely fucking hilarious. Because it's kind of like a little bit of irony on top of just that. Eh, this is what it means to be alive. This is what it means to be alive. Not many people get to experience like two sets of puberty. <laughs> but it's been a fun and interesting experience. All right. Funny story ended. Funny story ended. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm just being silly. <laughs> okay. So there's an ad coming up in about eight minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and do it early. So this is what's going to happen because the boba takes a little bit of time to make. And we don't exactly like the ad breaks happening every so often that Twitch makes us do. They do give us the option to manually run them and we can run them for, I think up to three minutes is the biggest one we can do. However, in exchange for doing a big amount of ads in one sitting, it delays more ads coming in longer like up to an hour and a half or two hours so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go make the boba first 
and we're gonna run the ads. And probably by the time the ads finish and my boba is done, I'll be back and we'll be ready to start the game, enjoy some boba, and maybe do a, just a bit more voice acting attempts. I'm not too good at it, but I feel like this game would be a good, good, good shot at it, you know? If I'm gonna do it someday, if I'm gonna do it eventually, I may as well get some practice now. So if you guys wanna join me for some cringe voice acting shenanigans, hang on tight. Hang on tight, guys. I'm a BRB. I'm gonna go make that boba and I'll be right back. The fox on the screen shall return. Hang tightly. I'll be back.
Wow, I'm so good. I'm so good. I forgot to unmute the fucking mic. Ah! <laughs> Why do I always do that? Why can't I just leave the mic unmuted? Why do I... Ah, I know why. I know why and I hate it. I know why and I hate it. Guys, I have to constantly mute my desk mic when I'm playing VR chat or hanging out in VR. That way my microphone does not double. However, because I have gotten so good at turning it off before getting into VR chat, I end up leaving my mic muted a lot when I come back to the stream. And I'm just like, why? 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 Why can't you be normal and just leave the microphone on during a stream? <laughs> but anyways, guys, sorry about the long wait. As I was saying, just right real quickly, reiterate what I was saying. Um, the ads are gone, don't worry. We have like over an hour before the next ad break starts by default. So sorry to anybody that had to put up with a full duration, but hey, I was gone. I was out making boba. I got the boba with me, and the boba's probably gonna help my throat, you know? It's nice, cold, delicious, and uh, yeah. So without further ado, I know what you guys are here for. Let's hop into the game, let's hop into the story and get ready for some more shenanigans, you know? Everybody wants to see that pie berry, including moi. Now, one thing I do have to do is Oh good, it's already enabled on my uh, my stream thing. So let's go ahead and load the game. Starting with, is it the second one? So it is the second one. I guess I'm making my saves um, going down. <clears throat> to catch the story up to other people who may have missed out on the first one. Or have no idea what we're doing. Um, Highberry found a mysterious little portal slash veil right behind Balti, the great basalt golem. And we're going to try to use the bird, Black Joe, Black Jack, I forgot his name, who is voiced by the Prinnies, by the way. You will recognize his voice if you've ever played this Gaia with the Japanese dub. You will recognize uh, the bird's voice. Now, one of the major gameplay things that we got right before we ended stream was we have evolved our staff and we're going down the path of life. So it is pretty nice. It is disgusting in the early game from what I've noticed. It's basically a small AoE life blast that does damage and heals us past the limit if we can. So. Let's go ahead and go back outside. Let's go behind Balti and see where the story's gonna take us next. <laughs> Who happened to be here for the first time we were playing this? I know it's been about a week, but anybody remember what we were doing last? Are you excited to see this game back again? You looking forward to it or anything like that? Hmm, so I can't go there just yet, which means the game wants me to go somewhere before we go there. Ah, the game wants me to go to sleep. How fitting. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention for that. So, before we get ready to go to sleep, let us... Have an... No, you're going to do it. You're going to do it, my friend. So, bring me two of these back. And sleep. Ah oh, yeah, I was right. The bird's name is Black Joe. I've had enough! <laughs> Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more, is what this Joe is saying. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that boba hits the spot. 
When I finish that last one, I'll probably end up getting another set just for the stream redeems. And that way, in a way, you guys can say, you're indirectly feeding me, Boba. <laughs> I'm going to set myself free. <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> Runaway Black Joe. I need to investigate the path behind Balt, but Black Joe has ran away. I can't get pa er, I can't get past Balt on my own. Well, you know the drill. You didn't run very far, did you? <clears throat> Time to escape. Give up already. <laughs> Oh no! She immediately grabs on. Get off of me! <laughs> You'll pay for this. And just to reiterate the translation, because that was a very, very nothing burger translation. I, I done forgot what she said, but it was something along the lines of you're going to get punished when we get back or something like this. <clears throat> What's he laughing about? Mm -hmm. I think I think I know what he's realizing. She's not that heavy, is she? <laughs> Oh no, he's trying to be evil. You won't survive a fall like that. Oh, you dirty little thing. I see what you're trying to do, Joe. Say Black Joe is the greatest in the world. Three times. And I'll consider letting you live. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't you get it? Your fate is now in my claws. <laughs> now, speak up. You really want to get in trouble, don't you? <laughs> well, if this is how you're going to act... Happy falling, demon. In before she can swim. Or is she going to awaken a new power? What's going to happen next? Oh, forget about going behind Balt. <laughs> We've drifted ashore onto a completely different island. Talk about a change of events. <clears throat> uh, where am I? It's a lot of crabs. I need to find Black Joe. But what is this island? There doesn't seem to be anything on it. But it's filled with strange magic. Should I just use teleportation magic to go home? No, I can't just leave this mystery behind. Maybe I can even find something cool here. I don't know if I can even bring it back again. I'm going to explore this island. Island investigation begins. I've left the forest for the first time ever. I wasn't expecting to come across a small island with nothing on it. But it's full of strange feeling magic. 
There's something here. I should investigate. Found a recipe for the blue crab extract. Can one of you give me the directions to the Krusty Krab? So let me double check the audio. I forgot to see if it's too loud or too... Oh, yep. Yeah. I thought the game sounded a bit loud. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit. Anybody else have... Uh... Or, what was I gonna ask? Has anybody else had a chance to check this game out for themselves out of curiosity? <laughs> Black Joe's on this island too? I wonder why he's here. I thought he left us for dead. Those crabs actually gave a lot of uh, combat EXP. Your combat EXP has reached stage two. All stats increase by 15% upon reaching a combat level. Training effectiveness has been boosted by 30%. Maybe I should start saving my training points until we get to like stage three or something. <laughs> Strategic crit power has gone up from uh, about what was it like 125% to 134 to 145? Max pet summon cost increased to 4. And secondary equipment amount 2. I wonder what that means. I'm also curious as to the summon thing. Does that mean we can summon 2 at the same time? Or is that a limit on... Ah, our maximum. So that means some summons are going to be even stronger to compensate, I guess. <clears throat> oh no. This is the life for me. Free from the ugly baby witch. <laughs> Spirit Seed does look cute. I hope to find the item she needs and then give her a shot later. I love the boar though, but um, I don't have the item for the sprite just yet, so I don't know what uh, the skill that it has. <laughs> the fruit on this tree is so fresh and so tasty. Is that so? I think they might taste better roasted. <laughs> oh yes. 
That should bring out a whole new level of flavor. Though it might burn my beak just a little bit. <laughs> you know, I think I figured out why his name is Black Joe. It's because he's constantly getting burned. <laughs> Give me a moment on the boba. I think after having boba so many times, or not so many times, but... How do I say this? After having boba a couple of times, I think I just really love the taste of tapioca. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> How is it? Should I grill some more? Oh my god. Master! Um, y you're alive. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. That's right. I'm not dead. You do tend to express your emotions in such a passionate way. I'm dragging you back home with me. Don't try any more tricks. But the, the real translation is, if you do anything else, you're going to pay for it. You know, warning him not to do anything like that again. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, the way they westernize the translation is reminding me a lot of uh, NIS, Nippon Nichi Software's English team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you home safely. You know, there was a sapient golden bomb on Final Fantasy Brave Exvius that gets frozen in blocks of ice regularly. Oh, interesting. Ha! <laughs> One more for extra flavor. I don't even blame her. I just wanted to shoot another one. <laughs> Are we going home now? Even if I go back home, I think I'll keep coming back to this island often. But why? What about flying over Balt? I'm more curious behind... No. I'm more curious about this island than what's behind Balt. It's filled with some strange kind of magic. And take a look at that. Much like this burb with fire pillars. Fire pillar! Fire... Oh, that's reminding me of a uh, mage from uh, Dungeon Fighter. Fire pillar! I forget how she voices it in the English lines, but that game was fun to play for a little while. A giant treehouse floating in the water. There's so much to see. Maybe I should just move my house here. Then I won't have to deal with those pesky warriors. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fighting off sea monsters every day instead. The forest is much safer. I'll judge that for myself after I investigate the island. Fly to the South Island. You can always get to the South Island by using Black Joe near the sea in the Black Witch's Forest. Ah, magic booster. Hey, some actual equipment. Lightweight combat top with poor defense, but it's better than nothing. And given that we have exactly nothing, then, uh, yeah. Give me that. Plus three defense. 
It's like a 30% increase compared to what we had. Hmm. Seems like there's something on the other side of that island as well, huh? <clears throat> Sounds like mages from HDN. And yes, the uh, dot is a part of her name. Isn't that because the company is the same way? Strength booster, because I'm probably going to be focusing more on physical this game. Ah, oh, if you get too close, they just run away like that. Gotcha. Can we actually swim in this game? I had a feeling that was going to happen. So this is more of a, a mash. And wait. Um, yeah, no. I didn't want to start a cutscene. I just wanted to see how much HP it was going to have. We're about to get our asses kicked. <laughs> Look at that big lion. It looks really strong. I can tell that myself. It's Asland. Are you real? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> He's wondering whether you're a delicious piece of meat. He wants to know if he can eat you. If you're not real, I'll have to destroy the shell. Oh no, I didn't want to fight it. Oh, it's actually not that strong. I thought I was about to get my ass kicked. Yep, the same goes for her sisters. Stage name of 5PB. Her actual name is Lyrica. And I say sister because of censorship. It's a weird thing to censor. HD... Gotcha. I'm sure that might have been some sort of copywriter. I don't know. You know how that stuff goes. <clears throat> <laughs> it says you were the real one after all, as it goes down. Mm. I managed it somehow. That was unexpected. How can a lion be so weak? It wasn't from Narnia. Hey, were you hoping that I'd get eaten? Not that, it's just that, um, that lion was this temple's guardian animal. 
I've heard that he gets weaker after the spring is closed off, but this week? Temple? Guardian animal? He's meant to guard the collapsed temple in front of us. I know you want to go inside, but I'll warn you. If you do... Less talk and more temple exploring. <laughs> Fine. Thank you for the hydrate, Gunter. Let me get that for you real quickly. How are you doing today? How's your Friday going? Hello, Unstable Sausage Liquor! How are you doing today, Mr. Fox? How are you doing? You're sick? Oh no, sorry to hear that, Gunter. Everybody's been getting sick like the past two weeks. I am just starting to recover. So hopefully it stays gone. I wish you a quick recovery. And yeah, I wouldn't call that too much of a, a sensor in my opinion, Will. I feel like it has been, you know, the, the, the censoring has been used so often that it has basically become uncensored at this point. Lily, everybody knows, just means Yuri these days. <laughs> you know, because they share the name. I can be a bit of a brat. I wouldn't say too much of a brat, but you know, you know, it's just what I do. It's just what I do. I'm there to be silly. I'm there to be happy. And I'm there to make people question their sanity levels, I guess. Yep, when censorship becomes the norm. As long as it's not a mosaic or a giant black bar, people will eventually learn to, you know, tie the two together. Wait! Go complete. Island investigation. Why? <clears throat> Legend has it that impure witches burn to death when they enter a temple. Now you care about my welfare, huh? Right after you tried to drown me earlier? <laughs> uh, sorry about that, but um... You're scared, aren't you? Yep, that's all it was. <laughs> A bluff. Arura Temple. An ancient temple on a small island. I didn't get to read the rest of it because that text was really fast. Some tells me I should get close to that and not actually fight that thing. I should check what this place has to offer and not overstay our welcome. Hear which power, here we come. <laughs> yes. Give me all the power. Well, this isn't what I imagined. It's in pretty bad shape. It has been abandoned for a long time. Humans used to worship the gods here. Can be a wizard if I cast Fist. I mean, if you cast Fist, wouldn't that just make you a brawler? Or a monk. <laughs> but after the war that the humans started, it was sealed off and left to fall into dis disrepair. But I cast fist. What kind of fist do you cast? Like burning fist, giant fist, fist of a thousand thrust, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Thick Bird! Happy Fridays to you! Happy Fanboy Fridays! Happy Friday the 13th as well! Some stretchies? Let's go and do some stretchies then. I'll do a stretch. I'll do a stretch. <laughs> but how are you doing? Welcome in! Welcome in! Welcome in! Thank you for the head pats, Gunter! Okay, stretchies are good. Thank you for the hydrate, Thick Bird! Thank you for all the redeems! But yeah, how are you two doing? How's everybody doing? What's the plans for the weekend? 
Or how are you enjoying your fr- Excuse me, how are you enjoying your Fridays? I'm doing well, yeah. I'm doing a lot better. Not completely there just yet, but uh, you know, I'm doing a lot better than not being better, if you can say something like that. <laughs> I'm doing alright though, I'm doing alright. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. It's always good to hear when people are doing well, you know? It makes me happy. But yeah, go get the medicine! <clears throat> ah, yep, do not forget about the medicine. War? That's when humans get in big groups and start fighting, right? I've read about it in books. <laughs> so do you think that means we get past Ball, then we'll just enter the human world? <laughs> exactly. Passing through the barrier behind Balt will take you to the continent of Vivalia. Ruled by the humans. Then... Why didn't you tell me this earlier if you knew? I didn't want to get involved with the humans. All they ever do is fight and argue. They're always at war. If you get past Balt and come face to face with them, it'll be dangerous. Just look what they did to this temple. You should just be satisfied living in the forest, just like me. That's specifically called a muscle wizard spell. I have never heard of a muscle wizard, but I would believe it. Just because that falls into the realm of augmentation magic. So it's just it's weird to see that, but I can I can follow the line of logic. It's definitely a more of a like a mm, like a battle mage. But rather than using like a staff or a pole, use your like your body as your your weapon and your wand. I have never seen the muscle wizard meme, and if I have, I completely forgot about it. <coughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Now who's the scared one? Let's leave the forest! <laughs> Did you just hear what I said? I'm going to go get more of those pies that the mustache merchant gave me. Our deal is incomplete. Actually, what happened to him if they didn't go back through the portal? Balt just throws them off into the distance. You're going to risk going to the human world just for pie. There's plenty of pie here. Just rummage through the warrior's pockets. This is no normal pie. It's just like the pie that I ate as a child. Is it more important enough to risk your life for? Yes. A hundred times over. Oh, so that's where that flashback's coming from.
Every night in my dreams, I see that pie from my childhood. And even if it's a dream, I can still taste it. It's the only memory that makes me happy. And then that merchant showed up with my dream pie. <laughs> I was so close to getting it. Until Balt ruined everything. <clears throat> so now I have no choice but to go to the human world myself. Really? Only for Pi. <laughs> what do you mean by only? How dare you disrespect Pi? That's basically insulting my name as well. Her name is Pi Berry. Ah, so that's where the berry comes from. Ah. Uh, so, your name is a combination of pie and strawberry. That's right. I love pie and strawberry so much that I named myself after them. Now, let's go into this temple. I can't read. God damn it. <laughs> let's go deeper into this temple. But why? It's falling apart. All of the magic on the island. The magic is the strongest here. And it's somehow familiar. I'm going to find out what this magic is, and maybe I'll discover something cool. <sighs> ay ay ay, ay caramba. Temple investigation! I can sense strong magic from the temple. Maybe I can find out why I can't teleport. Time to investigate. And for me to take another sip of boba. Give this a bit of a stir so I can get some of the tapioca balls. That must be like an accessory. This one reduces damage up into the first turn before we start to do anything. <clears throat> oh, can we actually connect it to home? That'd be interesting. Your current location has been added to your list. You're a fast learner. Great! Now I can teleport right back here from home. World Teleportation Altar. World Teleportation Altars allow you to teleport to distant areas. World Teleportation Altars can be directly connected to your home. That's very, <laughs> very convenient. Alright, I'll take a look at the meme channel in a little while, Well, Thank you for that. It's a strong barrier. There must be something behind it. Fast travel in a nutshell, hell yeah. Welcome in, Yasta New. How's it going? How's your Fridays going tonight? 
Let's head this way first, since technically there's an exclamation X <laughs> uh, Just let's go. Let's 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 go. God bless fast travel, though. <laughs> the sock. Got a small power stone. That's new. MP recovery. Ah, yes, please. Permanent stats are always nice. Hello, Caribou! Welcome in! How are you doing? How's the start of the weekend going so far? How is your Femboy Fridays going? Dame, dame Wait! Don't... Don't do it. If somebody touches a temple's magic stone without permission, they're going to die. Stop shouting! It's not dangerous. I can definitely feel something good. Thank you for the head pats, Nikki. How are you doing? Let's see. Court Caribou was playing Honkai Star Rail for the first time, and now it's. Oh, did it finally hit console? Interesting, interesting. Did you happen to get the pre-order or anything like that? How has the game been so far? How does it feel to play it on console? I'm doing pretty good today, Nikki. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear you're doing okay. Okay is so much better than not okay. And I'm doing pretty well, you know. My energy definitely shot way back up today. So I think as I was predicting, my sinus infection would be on its way out the door come Friday. Today is Friday and I feel pretty good. No pre-order. Waited until it came out. It's been quite fun. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know why, but the sill. I think I can do something about it. The bridge. See? I told you. I think we can move forward, so let's go. Alright, but before then, I kind of want to see what's behind here. Five hundred HP per crab. That's probably not gonna be too bad. Shocking. Welcome back, Vicky! Gonna hop for now? Start another drawing? I no worries, no worries, no worries! Thank you for stopping by hanging out with us for a little while. You have a great rest of the evening and enjoy the arts! I'll see you around sometime, alright? Have a great weekend! Shade. Feels like they're doing more damage, like increasingly more damage. Am I dead? Let's take that one crab out first. Barely stayed alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Let's, uh, Black, Jack, can you come and give me a heal? I need it. Huh? 
Oh, that thing's so tanky. Oh my god, it's still alive. I'm actually gonna save the special skill for after this turn. Nice burn damage. What's in the box? Secondary circles. A book of magic circles that can boost the strength of magic or make it more efficient. What kind of book is this? It appears to be a compendium of secondary magic circles. Secondary magic circles can boost the magic on the tablet, or reduce the amount of mental energy it takes. Uh huh. Then this could be useful. Yep. I right, time for some boba. This fight might be a little risky. But I think it'll be okay. Nice, nice, nice. Even more little power stones. Shield stones. Recovery. And an agility stimulant. to go take a pee break here in just a little bit. <laughs> the boba really runs through quickly, huh? Oh, cutscene. What is this? <clears throat> a giant door. A giant broken door. Man, he's such a party pooper, isn't he? Well, ain't that a shame, huh? Guess we just need to turn back now. There must be a way through. The Red Absorption Stone restores a small amount of HP with each physical attack. Defeating an enemy restores even more. We're definitely going down the, the route of preservation, aren't we? So those seem to be pressure-plated... 
The question is, where do I get a second? Hmm. I wonder if there's something that these guys are hiding that I could use to push over there. Let's find out. Shocky crabs. Oh no, where's my little buddy? I think I accidentally left it behind somewhere. Easy does it. You might have to resummon the pet after you use like a like one of those rides. Oh wait! So that's why they put your pet away. They're testing you to see if you notice. The pet's supposed to activate one of them. <laughs> I opened it! It wasn't supposed to open like that. It really is completely broken. A compendium of lightning magic. The lightning magic spellbook. Lightning magic spellbook? This should be useful. Not just fire, but now lightning too? Lightning magic is more powerful than fire magic of the same level. However, it requires a lot of mental energy. It's not something you just want to use often. Hmm, <laughs> should I just stick with fire magic then? Lightning magic can override some of the defense provided by steel, so you'd better learn it as well. Ah, so it would act like a superconductor, huh? That'll come in handy when you're against those armored warriors then. Mm -hmm. There was a slab at the bottom of the box. Hello, Erin! Happy Friday! So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel! Going over the one-year mark, aren't we? Thank you, my dear! <laughs> meow! Nya, nya, nya. Wait, 14 months, 14 months strong! Thank you so much! How are you doing? How are you doing? Enjoy the emotes and the lack of ads on the channel and stuff like that! What you got planned for Friday? What you got planned for the weekend? Three Fork Lightning Circle. Fire is a powerful power. Fire is a powerful blast of lightning energy at the enemy. This enemy is then transferred to other nearby enemies, like a static shock. Also, how is this game? I was looking at the end of the day. It's 
It was so fun to play it the first day. We didn't get too far just because it's so chuck full of story, but it's very cutesy, simple, and just, you know, the story is beyond lighthearted. But that's what I kind of like about it. Plus, the main character, dark skin, lolly, white hair, witch girl, animal ears. It's just like, how am I going to pass up a game like this? <laughs> so we've been slowly playing it. This is our second day, but we are... I love it. I love it. This is... Mmm. It's a change of pace that I was looking for, I guess you could say. It's definitely something different. But yeah, it's been good. Done with work for the day, so VR chat, Unity stuff, huh? Unity grind? <sighs> I really couldn't be bothered to make a new one, but now I can use this ready-made lightning magic circle. Mm-hmm. I guess the game wants to tutorialize us on it just a little bit, don't it? Now, can I change it on the fly? I can use it as an individual magic circle, but I can't replace the slabs yet. That's fine. And I'm pretty sure we're not leaving without saying hi to this guy. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Yet the design is very, very nice. Very nice. And when she has longer hair too, beyond adorable. No wonder the door was broken. They left a giant golem here. Completely unintended. No way. That thing won't move, will it? Of course not. It's been hitting... <laughs> it's been sitting here since the war ended. Ah, jinx. <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> How does it still have any magic left? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> How am I supposed to defeat that? Oh my god, it just summoned backup. <laughs> um, Shieldstone. Let's try to work through some of the ads. And let's take a look at this lightning spell. Fires a pile. I did it again. Powerful blast. And it's going to ricochet. Nice. There's a bit of an ad coming up in three minutes. The little cut. Yeah, they are. They are. They absolutely are. I think I'm going to go ahead and make use of our life spell. Won't be able to hit everybody. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they have some kind of physical resistance, so I might just want to focus on, uh... Hold on, I have an idea. Using lightning damage. Take this one out, get the extra turn. And then go into defense. He's charging up his laser. <laughs> oh, it needs two stacks of stun to actually stop. But I decided to defend. Hit him with another lightning blast.
punch. Defend just in case it doesn't stun. Oh, nice! Good job, little boar! I didn't realize it was so close to dying. <laughs> we finished it just before the ad went off. <laughs> you need more than just a big body to beat me. You're great too, Master. Even though it's ruined, it used to be the human's main weapon. <laughs> Stun on! Nope, he's dead. Her little thigh highs have cat ears on them too. I know! Just go like go look her up. Her name is Pieberry from String or er, Witch Spring R. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> Alright, there goes the ad, guys. Oh, it's not done yet. So this is what I'm gonna do. If there's an ad going on for in a minute and a half, rather than let people miss out on this, I'm gonna go pee real quickly. I'm gonna go pee. Tell them I'm gone. I'm slowly returning. Hey, I made it right back in time. I the ad is out of the way, guys. An ad happened to go off, so I decided to wait. That way, nobody missed too much. So the golem decided to slap the chicken, and now he is on the ground. And in the meantime, if you notice, the wind is actually showing that she wears shorts, which, in my opinion, is, is a big plus ten. Black Joe. 3D model reminds me of Bravely Default. It kind of does. I have not played Bravely Default, but the style of the chibis, not the art necessarily, but I definitely see the relationship. Yeah, I have an eye for these things for better or worse, but yeah. Safety shorts, bike shorts, you know the drill. Eh, it's still moving. <laughs> he really wants to fire that laser. Black Joe, get up! Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here already! This is why I told you not to come here. <laughs> I can't hold on anymore. Just... Let me be. There. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Black Joe! Um. Rip. <laughs> um, did we just summon a Raijin, or what the fuck was that? It's the lion! You are still here. <laughs> Aslan, you arrived at the right time. 
The lightning just now. Was that your doing? This is the final warning. Get out of here. <laughs> he must have went easy on us to begin with, huh? Aslan saved us. But how come? That he gets right back up immediately. I don't think saving us was the goal. The evil golem was going mad and Aslan intervened. I told you. Aslan is the guardian animal of this temple. But is Aslan this strong? <laughs> yeah, right. Should have been like this from the beginning. What a fool. But it sounds like you wanted that lightning to hit me instead. <laughs> nope. Denial. Now let's go. Time to get moving. But wait, what? We just had one foot in the grave. There's no more giant golems now. Cut the nonsense and just follow me. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? Welcome into the chat. Welcome into the chat room. Welcome into the stream. And happy Fridays. How's it going? How's the start of the weekend going for you, buddy? Welcome in. Let me have another sip of boba real quickly. Thank you for the head pants. It's off to a good start. It's off to a good start. I am mostly over my sinus infection, so I'm doing pretty good today. My energy is, you know, it's coming back. It's coming back quickly. Yesterday I was still dead inside, but today I feel so much better. And I say by the weekend I'll feel like a hundred bucks. Here we go again. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. The bridge! I get the impression that Aslan will not be happy if I go to say hi. He might fight me for real this time. I knew it. Did ya? <clears throat> oh, what's behind this door? This door. There's something very intimidating about it. But yeah, thank you for asking, Ryan. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Wait a second. Even a girl as reckless as you knows better than to open this door, right? Of course. I just want to get a closer look at it. Open sesame. Flashbacks? This is... A memory. Master! Oh, I thought we were about to get sucked into a memory. <clears throat> I managed to pull you away from the door just in time. I feel like I just had some kind of terrible nightmare. But it's weird. What is? The nightmare. It felt familiar. Well, forget about it then. You almost just got sucked into the door. <laughs> I'll be careful. <laughs> so probably don't want to go near the door again. 
Now we should be making our way out of here, but... Surely Aslan just won't instantly try to kill us, right? He's probably going to tell me to, uh, go home. <clears throat> I warned you to turn back. <laughs> go figures. <laughs> he's, he's, he's for real this time. Uh-oh... Aslan's magic is stronger than before. It's probably because of that spring right in front of us. So that's what he was supposed to be protecting, but he was outside the whole time. The spring? The pool where a god's magic is collected is called a spring. The power of guardian animals like Asland is influenced by this spring. So he was weak outside the temple, but before he came, he was further away from the spring. Dyslexia, please. I think it's more like he was being gentle on you because you're young. Hey, Aslan! The temple's ceiling stones are reacting to my master's magic. I know. You gonna find some food and look for a bit? Alright, take it easy, enjoy some good food, and enjoy some good snacks. And I'll see you a bit later, okay, Aaron? Take it easy. Aha! Now you're suddenly willing to talk. This temple accepts her. So there's no need for you to be wary of us. Black Joe is right. We just want to have a look around the temple. <laughs> The ceiling stones only allow those who are authorized to pass through. Which means... How did you trick the stones? <laughs> what? If you were a normal person, the ceiling stones would not have reacted. You can fool the other temple's other protections, but you cannot fool me. It's Guardian Animal. Oh no, he's gonna fight! Shit, I'm dead. I just wanted this, the story and then to leave. Is it even worth using an item here? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? He has some magic crystals boosting his damage. I probably want to take those down quickly. Like, as quickly as possible. Lightning is not going to chain. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I don't know whether to defend or if I destroy the thing now. I'm gonna take a chance on destroying it now. Okay, so the fight won't be as brutal as I thought it was going to be. Hello, Phasmophobia Ghost. Did you have fun with us two days ago? Man, Phasmophobia is awesome. Thank you for the sound, Redeem.
Oh, he's just instantly going to burst again? Damn, he's fast. I'm gonna stun him out of one of his turns for now. He's getting ready to do another double turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and defend. Use our special skill again. So fast. Hey, Staffy! Happy Jason, dude! <laughs> Happy Jason Day. Man, I can't read. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're back again with which spring are today to continue the story. But yeah, it is Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. That means it is Jason Voorhees Day. <sighs> it's over. But why is he so hostile to me? That's its duty as guardian animal. It must have been angry that it failed to protect the temple in the past. For some reason, the guardian animals could not use their power during the war. Oh, I wonder if we'll find out why. Got a date in a couple hours with your real girl? Hell yeah! Nice, nice, nice. Enjoy a good date. Enjoy a long island on me and have a fun, wonderful start to your weekend. It's open! Open sesame. <laughs> so now we just check out that spring and then leave, right? Mm. Well, the guardian animal has been defeated, so we should be okay. <laughs> Poor lion. He put up a good fight. That's a big crystal. Poor animals, indeed. Eh, we didn't kill him or anything, he's just tired. Look at the size of that magic crystal! Stone. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> magic stone! It's green. It's an emerald! It's kryptonite! It's glowing! Wait a second. No way. The spring is reacting. Is this really possible? Crystal and stone are similar, I feel. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> I was so ready to stay crystal that when I saw stone, I was actually more confused. And that was probably not my dyslexia. That was just me. Expecting or assuming. Oh, Aslan's still talking to us. My master's will is materializing. He's still alive. I thought I beat you. The guardian animal's strength was instantly restored when the spring opened. <laughs> but my body is so sore. I need to fight again? No need. You've already proven yourself. You've actually got something. Stand closer to the spring. <laughs> you willy little... You plan to use her to nourish the spring, don't you? Oh, 
In your grief over the loss of your master, you've been luring youngsters to fill the spring with their magic, haven't you? <laughs> She's like, I don't care. <laughs> hey, I said stop. Don't go anywhere near that spring. Hello! Konnichiwa! <laughs> Rory de gozaimasu! It would be named after the master. As I expected, it was not intentionally misspelt instead of Ara Temple. It was explicitly Arua Temple. I just, I didn't know it was a name. I've always believed that one day someone would come here who could hear my voice. My name is Arua, and I am the master of this spring. Nice to meet you. I'm Pyberry. I follow the familiar energy and it brought me here. So you're still filled with magic? Then you must be a god. <laughs> hmm. You're an enthusiastic little girl. What is it that makes your heart beat so fast? I have a new... Eh, <laughs> I have a new dream. To find my dream pie in the world of the humans. But there's someone blocking my way. So I'm exploring this island for now instead. But when I'm strong enough, I'm going to get out of the forest. What a cute dream. <clears throat> Magic power. Choose an ability to increase. 70. Holy shit. 115 MP. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like that one's almost a no, like a no-brainer, but I'm also like, defense would be really strong for what we're doing right now. Hmm. The answer is definitely not HP here. That's one of the easier things to train for. 150 mana points would be like double what we have right now. But I kind of feel like this would double our base defense. And if this game uses like percentage based mitigation, we want this. If it's flat defense, then this is going to suck. Hmm. Magic would be really good if I start pursuing more magic stuff. I'm actually going to go with defense because I figure I'm mostly going to focus on strength, then a bit of magic and MP, and defense would probably be one of the uncommon stats I get, but I'm going to completely avoid agility. And as much as I would like more HP, 70 is just so small. I'm going with defense. 
Now, if I was going for glass cannon build with a physical staff, I'd probably go for strength. Wow, such a powerful, po powerful power. <laughs> such a wonderful power. It's warm and strong. I can't believe magic like this exists. I have bestowed upon you my blessing. It will be of use to you someday. Let me get some more boba, and I'll get back to reading afterwards. Thank you so much, Arua. <laughs> Can I come and visit you often? I must return to my slumber. The blessing I gave you was all of my remaining magic. Then, why did you give it to me? Every path you take will lead you to greater dreams. Just like how you accidentally washed up upon this island and awakened me. I will watch closely the faith and indomitable spirit you develop and how you will grow. <clears throat> Arua! He's gone. <laughs> My master is sleeping. He will not wake for a while. Oh, but he was so nice. What are you going to do now? The same as always. Follow my master's will. Then why don't you become my pet? It'll be fun. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> My duty now is to protect the spring. I cannot leave the temple. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I was excited to get a cute little lion. We should go back home, Master. You still need lots of rest. You're not planning on exploring more, are you? Okay, let's just go home. <laughs> Instant teleportation time? Yeah! Alright, let me finish off this boba. <laughs> Delicious. <clears throat> so, um... Do you feel blessed? As the hand of Jesus touched you. <clears throat> I don't really feel much different from usual. Right after receiving the blessing, I felt so powerful. What happened? 
な量の魔力をまだご主人様が受け入れきれてないようですね。Seems like your body wasn't able to fully absorb all of the enormous amounts of magic. You think? Then does this mean that the blessing is just gone? Yeah, so do I know in this kid. Go shooting some of my new candle. Oh, you can't stay me. I don't think so. I can still floating, feel it floating around you. And here is where they did a bad job with the translation. Because the name Arua is spelt with the same characters as Ara. Aura, Aura, my bad. I'm sounding country. Aura. The Japanese text was supposed to translate to something like it's as if it was an aura still around you, which is a play on the letters in the name Arua and Aura. So I'm gonna have to say I'm kind of mad about that translation. I don't mind when they westernize it, you know. A fair bit, but they have to leave in important stuff like that. That one is very important to the story. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. You can sense it too, can't you? I sense some kind of faint energy. It's hard to detect. It's not the same. Or wait, what is it? It's not that the blessing's power is weak. It's just, it's beyond my ability to sense. Divine blessings are special. Perhaps one day, when you're all grown up, you'll be able to wield it properly. But then, why did Arua give me this power? I was so excited to receive it. I didn't think I'd ask for the reason. There is an ad coming up in about a minute, guys. And you just happened to come along at the right time. Giving his magic to a witch is better than giving it to a human. I agree. So then, I was just lucky. Mm hmm. Why? So, are we really going to Balt now? Of course. I still need to get that pie. And maybe in the human world? In the human world? What? Nothing. I'll tell you some other time. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's something childish again. I actually think I know what it is. And it might have been a slight spoiler from learning about the game's series past. But I'll have to see if I'm right, because it'd be kind of a stretch. But it's really cute if I'm actually right. But do you think that you can defeat Balt? I can now since I have this blessing. <laughs> you don't even know how to use it. Door to the outside world. There's a way outside. There's a way to the outside world behind Balt. So let's go. Now there's a couple of things left on this island that I'd kind of like to take a look at first. So... Let us get some Z's. And 
and just grab a couple of things. So before we actually leave the island, we never really looked at uh, the ship. I'm also not sure if there's anything to do with it. But I kind of feel like if we're about to leave the island, this would be our last chance to take a look at uh, anything that might still be around. So first things first, let's head back to the one thing. And go see if there was anything at the ship or if it was just a red herring. Ooh, I have an idea. Elemental seed. I guess I need to go back to home to see if I can actually give it anything. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> There's nothing to do here. Now, we still need to go back to the fireplace because we've not fully explored the fox den. I doubt we can go past the fire statue. Because that thing had like a hundred and something magic. But I'm at least going to check out the foxes. Because I think we might be strong enough to get past. The only problem with these is that they immediately destroy your magic. But uh, that extra defense is already coming in handy. So I might as well use some magic while I can. Because, yeah, it's all gone now. Marble Shard. Okay, we've done fought that one. Let's see if we can handle a group of three before we handle a group of four. I'm lucky that'll go down to the life seed. Ah, no. <laughs> Never lucky. I'm so glad I went with defense. Combat EXP as well. 
<laughs> oh, so crunchy. That one will go down to a life seed. And then there were three. Let's see, how much HP does this have one? Dead. <laughs> Yoshi! Okay, I might want to use the shield potion before fighting. Oh, they don't go beyond five. Or four. Two more groups. Oh, I messed up. I should have gone for one closer to the group. I might want to defend next turn. Double swing this one. Finish it off with life seed, and then we're good to go for the last fight here. Ah, uh, five forty six. I probably need to wrap stream up in about an hour. Then I gotta get it ready to play some, uh, what is it? What is it called again? Friday the 13th. I'll also be raiding Taiga since he's gonna be hosting it. So, <laughs> Fri Friday's Femboy Friday activities will continue even with the raid. One down, three to go. In before the statue is actually a boss fight.
Think I'm gonna get jebated? Thank you for the head pats, Ryan. What are your plans for Friday? How are you gonna be fin spending your Friday night and your weekend if you got plans? The white fox marble. A marble that the white fox vomits up periodically. It contains soul. Equipping it makes you slightly lighter and increases your MP recovery rate from tool use and defense. I wonder if that's a consumable or if it's a... No, it says equipped. But it's an AIDS. I guess we'll craft one and see what happens. It's such a cute statue! This fox doesn't look like a golem. It's just a piece of stone. I wonder who made it. It's all delicately craft. Craft dead. Dead, 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 whatever. Ah, so no secrets, no secrets. If there's a secret, I might find out later. Unless... I need to defeat everything, even if I've already defeated them once before. Let's put a... let's put that theory to test. Can we craft it into something? Oh, okay. So there's more to the story? Yeah, my mind was telling me craft one and then see what happens. If I craft one, I'll, I'll learn more about the item, is what I was thinking. Yep, the Combat Aids Journal. I probably should have just said the full name. It feels weird to say Aids because nobody's going to realize what you're talking about if you don't give them context. Now, I also have a theory, if there is something to do with the statue, maybe I could bring one of those things back with me. So let's head back home first. The recipe said white fox marble. Ah, I didn't even notice the name. Don't really need to craft anything here just yet. Except for these. So I could in theory just crap. I can get more defense just from farming the crabs. Oh, <laughs> I could have gone for strength or something. That eh, the more you know. Oh, I'm going to need to fight a lot more foxes. There might be a cap. There could be, yeah? I didn't even think that far ahead. Can make another slab with smaller slabs. So five would be a drop. Lightning items we don't have yet. I should go double check what the stats are on the fire thing. But grab some more stones while I'm there. So how are we on training? We're at three points. I didn't know what it meant, but at least now I know the notes they use. Ah. Oh. Have you played this before then? For crafting? Ah, that's what you meant by notes, huh? Well, if I want more strength, 
And the best way to get more strength is... Probably some HP as well to offset everything. The X in X book. Gotcha. Rock punch. <laughs> nice. That was a fat bonus to strength. That'll also get us to physical training stage two. Physical attack crit chance 10%, HP recovery during recovery plus 3, and a new skill! Overload Strike 1. Momentarily overloads the body's abilities in order to deliver a fierce blow. Triple Swing. Swings the weapon three times. Wow. That was, uh... Nice. Get just a little bit of sleep before we go back. Even though I don't really need the magic. Can't hurt anything. Hold up. Save. Save. Second slot. I see Lily just going for the muscle wizard route. Kind of, I'm wanting to focus that on that mostly. I might take a little bit of magic here and there, but I was definitely eyeballing the physical build. <coughs> just because I like battle mage. Muscle wizard. <laughs> Take so much mana away. Wonder what Overload Strike does. Oh, it consumes your HP to do even more damage. But I still have the accessory that gives me life back. Why did I even restore my magic again? <laughs> Just instantly deleted my MP bar, but welcome back, Aaron. How are you doing? Better now that I have food inside of me? What did you get you to eat? What did you eat? What's on the menu? Easy as pie. Ah, oh, grilled cheese! It's, ah, we have some Swiss, some cheddar, and I don't know if we have any mozzarella left, but now you're making me hungry. I guess I could get me one of those as a snack. Oh, I've not made one in so long. They're such a guilty pleasure, they're so good. Let's see if he drops any other kinds of stones. Iron Malaise. Yeah, I'm going like slightly defensive, slightly physical, and definitely a life preservation build, I guess. I don't even know if that's considered a thing. <laughs> But I, I like I like swinging my staff, I guess. <laughs> okay, one group is back. I love that crunch. Don't need mana if you're just I know. 
That's actually a convenience. I'd like a little bit of magic for stuff. If it was uh, to make a battle useful or something. But I really don't need to focus on mana. And when spells are really expensive... I kind of feel like early game it makes more sense to go physical. I don't think there's a reset later. But I don't need it. It's a lot of damage. Also, they're not really dropping their one items anymore, are they? How many do I have? Six. I can also use them to increase my max MP. Does that mean I should start holding on to some of these items? Should probably have been using these, to be honest. I should definitely hold on to those. But if they're permanent stats, then that might also make sense as to why they're kind of a rare drop. If you can just grind stats via items anyway. Oh! Yeah. So if you can just grind items as a way to train stuff, then... Honestly, you have a lot of options to do whatever it is you need to do. So they probably dropped them then. The game's probably not that strict. But I will still have to wait for them to drop. It's a lot of little guys yet. Seven stones, and I need one more. Okay, we should be good on those little stones. Now what I really wanted to see, did I fight this one? Yeah. 2,000 life. Magic 122 is what kind of bothers me. Hmm. What does the R in the Witchspring R mean anyways? I have a suspicion I have not figured out 100% yet. Also, hello Nani, thank you for the head pats. This game started off a long time ago as a mobile game. Mobile game series. There are six in the collection, which bring one through six, as well as a couple of other side projects. And uh, this game is basically which spring one, completely remastered, overhauled, and, you know, fully flushed out. From like a three hour mobile game into like a 30 hour plus uh, console title. So I think the R stands for Rebirth, Reboot, Remake, something like that, yeah. That's my guess though. I've not looked that up, but I've just pieced the pieces together, I guess. We're probably dead, but I, I at least want to see. That was a lot of damage for... Um, Guarding.
And we made it through. Also got a couple of intermediate slabs out of that. So what's beyond the door? A lower level? Let's just poke our heads on in and see what's down here. Ah, uh, it's six o'clock. So I need to be done by seven. So we still got time. Ad starting. Oh, there's an ad in. Pro they used to give a warning miss. Ooh, fire traps. That's new. Six hundred and fifty life each. 